Blair, what a nice surprise. Hello, Lily. I wish I could say the same about Serena's impending proposal. Has she discussed it with you? Oh, she has. She seems thrilled. Need I say more? Serena's enthusiasm is like the bat signal for bad ideas. It's sudden, I know. But she does seem happy. What doesn't she always when she's with a new guy? Dan, Nate, Colin, Ben. Oh, she is a romantic, bless her tender heart. But Lily, you and I are realists. We need to look after her because she is incapable of looking after herself. Thank you, Blair. I appreciate your input. Bye. Lily, thanks for coming to meet me. I know it's old fashioned, but with our history and Serena's father not being a constant. You I want my permission to marry my daughter. Mission accomplished. How do you know you convinced her? All I have to do is subtly suggest Serena needs saving and Lily jumps into protective mother mode, ready to do anything to shield her precious daughter from another relationship gone wrong. She even had one guy sent to prison. Well, my dad better not end up in lockup, but I hope you're right about the rest. I am, and just in case, we have your part of the plan as backup. Everything's in motion. You can either tell me who you are or you can tell the police. No, please, no police. My mother, Larissa, just sent me over to clean something for Mrs. Lily. She's sick. But Mrs. Lily called and said it was an emergency. And uh, that's what needed cleaning? Mrs. Lily said no one else was supposed to see. Mrs. Lily doesn't pay your mother's salary. I do. Check. That'll be all. Wow. You look beautiful. You're quite the Dapper Dan yourself. Unfortunately, Jessica is off somewhere with pantyhose on her head, so she no longer requires an escort. Um, I'm not gonna ask, but I'm not dressed for Jessica. I know Chuck's busy, and no one should go to Cotillion. Hello. Well, I suppose I could overlook your upbringing now that you're a regular feature in Vanity Fair. 